So let's talk about the inset tool. Now, this is a useful tool in a lot of different circumstances and does something similar to the extrude tool, or rather, I should say the extrude tool can be used in a similar way. So to show this, I've got a cube here. And if we go into edit mode, I can select one of the faces. And then to use the inset tool, I'm going to press I and I get a face that's inset in that. Unlike the extrude tool where I'm now adding geometry or pulling it all over the place, this new face is locked to the current face. And when I move my mouse back and forth, we're just changing the size of it. And you can see here, I can actually flip it inside out. And you can see that there's some weird artifacting going on there. And we want to make sure that we're not doing that. Uh, but we want inset like so. Once we do that, then of course you could extrude it and treat it as any other face. Now where this gets a little bit more interesting is if I select two faces like this and I press I to insert, we get a shape that looks something like that. And you could get shapes that start to look something like that. Get a little bit more interesting geometry going on. Likewise, I could select three faces and hit I to insert. Maybe make a little face like that. And now I can use my extrude, shrink that down, get kind of a funny shape. And I might scale that. You get a pretty interesting shape like that. So the inset tool, what it's going to do is something similar to the extrude tool. But what we're going to do is whatever faces we have selected, we're going to create an inset face from those with an edge around them, uh, which again, pretty useful, pretty handy when you're doing some modeling.